Here is a quick demonstration of the adaptive refresh rate of the new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, on the right, compared to the Samsung Note 20 Ultra, on the left. On each device, I have entered into settings, then developer's options, and activated the display of the screen refresh rate at the upper corner of the screen. Both are currently displaying 60Hz because they are set to standard motion smoothness, which is set to 60Hz. As you can see, I have set both to the same full HD resolution because the Note 20 Ultra cannot be set to adaptive refresh on Quad HD. If I now go into the motion smoothness setting and change them to adaptive refresh rate, you can see that they both max out at 120 Hz while there is motion on the screen. When the screen is static with no motion, the adaptive refresh rate will decrease to 60 Hz for the Note 20 Ultra and down to 24 Hz for the S22 Ultra. If I move the screen on both, they go back to 120 Hz, then immediately drop down when the motion stops. Now the S22 Ultra has been advertised to have an adaptive refresh rate that can drop down to 1 Hz, but I am not seeing that in this test. It could be that the addition of the refresh rate displaying in the corner is causing the screen to update, preventing the phone from dropping the refresh rate any lower. Unfortunately, I see no way of testing if it can go any lower. This is an important feature since a lower refresh rate can help the battery last a bit longer. If you have any ideas, drop me a comment below. I have my Note 20 Ultra for 10 days before I need to send it for the trade in credit. If you would like any other comparisons, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe if you would like to see any other videos I make. Non -hack.